this is the floor here, author of the artillery, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, how about you press that subscribe button, give this video a like, and ring that bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos. This is the next episode in the book tour book series. And I'm going to be sharing the rest of that short shelf that we finished up in the last episode. And this one, there's not that many books on these shelves, but these are smaller, smaller shelves. But I'm still only going to do two shelves per video. I try not to go too long, um, as to not bore you, obviously. So, please do enjoy the book tour, and I'll see you on the flip side. Hello, everyone, and we're back for the next episode in the book tour book series. We're going to be finishing out this short shelf I have, and it's the last two shelves on this bookcase so let's go ahead and get started first up is Thurps which is a thriller um, novel by Robert Farley you see here where it says stop a killer not so hard killing his weapon not now that's a problem <laughs> so yes this is a very interesting thriller this is the author here Robert Farley. I'll read the back because this is a book I haven't um, gotten a chance to read yet. Though he knew the shooter in the helicopter must be taking aim, Nathan dared not to take his eyes off Sung. He sighted down the barrel of his pistol and wondered fleetingly if he could pull the trigger, take a life. In a millisecond, his index finger answered the question. He expected to see his adversary fall, spurting blood into the turbulent air. Instead, a smile spread across Sung's face. Nathan's gun had not fired. He pulled the trigger twice more, with no more results than if he'd pointed his finger and said bang. And then he was looking into the deadly muzzle of Sung's pistol, waiting. Very intriguing to find out what exactly is happening. So, it sounds like a, this sounds like a really good read. So, I, this is on my to be read list for some good thriller time. Next, we have Characters and Viewpoint by Orson Scott Card. These is this is some of my writer study books, I should say. And it's Elements of Writing Fiction. This is a very good book. I've used this one for quite a while. It's, it usually sits by my desk, but I've used it quite a few times. So now it's on the shelf. Next we have The Cat Who Saw Stars by Lillian, Lillian Jackson Byrne. I have quite a few of these books in this series. And we have How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram Ibram X. Indai. So yes, um, this is a New York Times bestseller, How to Be an Anti-Racist. That's a book for quite a few people to get on. Next, we have Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson, A True Story of the Fight for Justice. I did really like this cover when I first saw it. It says, Rebel of the Sands by Alvin Hamilton. And everyone knows this one. <laughs> Docker by E.L. James, which is the... Fifty Shades of Fifty Shades Darker, as told by Christian. All right, next up is Out of Our Lives, edited by Quadra Prettyman Stedler. This is selection a selection of contemporary Black fiction, which this would be a good read for like History Month. Next up, we have Just Mercy. This is another book by Brian Stevenson and is a major motion picture. 
and we have the book that most writers know about, Stephen King on writing, A Memoir of the Craft. This is a very good book for us writers who are learning. You should always probably be learning anyway, but it's a good one to have in your collection. Then I have a book set here by Clive Hustler. Uh, there's four books here. Rise, The Titanic, Vixen 3, The Mediterranean Caper, and Iceberg. And then actually here I have some of my manga. Yes, I've read manga for a long time. And this is some of my older ones that are still floating about. So the, not, the volumes are mixed because they're not all together. This is Gimmick, Volume 1. Demon Diary, Volume 7. Samurai Deeper Keo, Volume 3. And I have Volume 1. Of Samurai Deep Rikio here. Also volume 2. And then here's my second copy. Because sometimes you need a backup. <laughs> of volume 1 again. And we have next. Diablo. Volume 3. Guest Tut, Volume 2, Cowboy Bebop, this is an anime guide, one of my volumes of Fruits Basket, Volume 2, which is a nice romance manga, Attack on Titan. This one, this box specifically came in a specialty box. I have another one of that somewhere in my office. Um, this is volume 17. I fell off and stopped liking Attack on Titan, so <coughs> I didn't finish. <clears throat> I didn't finish buying them. I didn't finish buying them. Uh, this next up is Nightmare Inspector. And last of the manga on this shelf is another volume of Gestat, which is volume 5. Alright, time to move on to the last shelf here. And actually, I missed, actually, I missed one more volume. It was Hiding of Diablo. It's volume 2. Alright, so down to the shelf. First up, we have Politics and Pot Roast by Sarah Hood Solomon, illustrated by Glenn Foden. And here's a classic, I say. Here's a classic. Home for Peculiar Children by Ran Ransom Riggs. Next up, we have Healing with the Fairies by Doran Gertrude, Ph.D. This is a best-selling author of Angel Visions. More books like that. And we have Burden of Desire by Robert McNeil. And here's some more. The Witcher. Introduction. Introducing The Witcher. The Last Wish. By, I never could see his name. <laughs> Let me hold up in the light so you can see it. I'm not even going to butcher it. But the last name is Sapkowski. <laughs> I can say that mostly. <laughs> Alright, then we have Jupiter's Bones by Fev Kellerman. Romance novel Voices of the Night by Linda Joyce. One of my favorite paranormal authors, 
Christina Faye Haynes Dark Prince. Then we have Chasing Perfect by Susan Millary. Millary. And The Savage Heart by Diana Palmer. Some Star Trek for you. Star Trek Next Generation Q and Law. The new novel by Peter David. A High Noon by Noah Roberts. The best selling book of all time, The Holy Bible. <laughs> Obviously, I want to know that one. <clears throat> Mother's Garden and Prayer. Sarah Maddox and Patty Webb. And we have Journey Through 10,000 Veils, Alchemy of Transformation on the Sophie Path by Mariam Keberfei. All right, last three books on the shelf. Here we have The McGorries, Alan and Grant by Nora Roberts. Got some Scottish love for you here. And of course, you can't go without the Webster's Punctuation Guide. <laughs> and last on the shelf is another volume of Attack on Titan. The volume 20 of Attack on Titan, special edition, so that's why the cover is different. You can see. Yep. And that finishes out that shelf. And I will be moving on to the next short shelf that's not far from here. See you next time. And that will finish up the book tour for this episode and finish out that short bookcase. We'll be moving on to the next bookcase in the next episode that's another short shelf. And actually, I found that I did have um, more of the Enchanted World books. And I forgot that I had gotten more of them. I thought I lost them when I in my move, but apparently I did not. This what happens when you have over five thousand books. You get surprised even by your own library. So <laughs> thank goodness I still do have all the rest of these and I thought I only had nine, but I have more. So you'll get to see the rest of those in the next episode. So I will see you then and I think in between this you'll get a book haul video because I have uh, quite a many books I have purchased um, months and months ago that I haven't got a chance to do a book haul of those books and also I have was gifted some books so I'm going to do a whole book haul and it's a variety of books to say the least so I will see you in the next one stay scared <laughs>